as she watched conflict unfold in Israel and Gaza this fall. 17-year-old Asma Zatar finally had enough to support the Palestinian cause. He decided to stage protest in a very unlikely location. Courthouse in Huntsville. Allah. WP get the whole experience. Choose your plan arrow right initially. Zatar. A second-generation Palestinian-American. Was afraid no one would come forward. Zatar knew it was a conservative town better known for divisive debates over Confederate monuments than for protests against an overseas war. But as rally began, dozens of Muslims, including women wearing hijabs, entered the city square carrying signs rejecting Israel's occupation of Gaza Strip in late October. Local media showed up, and Zatar knew he had succeeded in connecting the city and its growing Muslim population, to a conflict around the world. People now know that there is a Palestinian voice in this city, said Zatar, a student at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. Everyone has a voice and can say whatever feels right and fight back using our voices. Across country, from deep south to Appalachia to relatively rural communities in Midwest, Protests in support of Palestinian plight are springing up, showcasing continued expansion of United States. Muslim population into the country's heartland. Children refugees from Muslim countries organized many the demonstrations. Evidence a political awakening among a new generation young Americans who are helping shape the United States. Public opinion supporting a ceasefire in the Middle East during this period. Anti-war rallies are held in places such as Huntsville, Oxford, Miss, and Boone, N.C., creating a sense of community among Muslims that they could not imagine holding such meetings anytime soon. Now, they are vowing to continue their activism to influence public debate while showcasing the emerging political power of American Muslims. Just because we live here in the U.S. doesn't mean we're isolated or separated, said Hamad Chaudhry, 24, a second-generation Pakistani-American who helped organize several pro-Palestinian demonstrations at Appalachian State University in Boone. We live in a globalized world where the smallest thing in one place can have a big impact. Somewhere else, the explosion of activism, which Muslim scholars say would have been unthinkable just a decade ago is based on the massive expansion of Muslim families into the United States. From first major waves of immigrants United States in 1970s to 1990s, Muslims tended cluster in only a handful of states, including New York, California, and Michigan. Like many immigrant groups, over time some moved elsewhere in search of work and opportunity. More recently, Many new refugees from Muslim-majority countries have settled directly in southern or midwestern states in hopes of finding more affordable housing. A 2017 analysis from the Pew Research Center estimated that 3.45 million Americans are Muslim, three-quarters of whom are 